we never learn. We never learn from all these wars that the biggest armies in the world cannot beat farmers with tractors and not even automatic weapons, just regular <laughs> weapons. Okay, go. Just holes in the ground with sharp sticks in them. <laughs> holes in the ground. Yeah. We don't even need to get dirty. It's just like, yeah, I see what you're trying to do with your tank. It's not going to work. Yeah. Oh, well, we're tired. Okay. Come on. <laughs> just walk over here. I'll feed you. Blop. <laughs> I'm gonna get. That was a warning shot. That was a warning kill. I'm just. I. I. I don't know. I. I honestly think that uh, the problem is not the guns. It's don't say mental health. No, it's dumb kids, man. Kids are too stupid to have uh, good guns. What do you mean? I don't think he's fighting the wars. Then. Well, yeah, we're tricking them because they're idiots. Like we know that. <laughs> like you the don't whole think an point... 18-year-old should have a gun? No. Why? I could have a handgun. I think those all those kids going to that drag show, they need to be armed for all yeah. those wiener, for all those cavity <laughs> creeps. Say, They're yeah. going to creep on their cavities. I mean, what does is, what is an 18-year-old <laughs> need a rifle for other than a, it's fun? Like, they need for a derringer. Self- yeah. The little kids, the little boys at those drag queen things need like a garter belt with a derringer stuck into it, okay. like a prostitute, like an old-timey prostitute. Sure. Sherlock Holmes era prostitute. A lipstick gun and so they come, they, when they come stomping over... Hey, little boy. <laughs> Are you lost? <laughs> right? Well, I'm saying like an 18-year-old doesn't own a home, so he doesn't need it for home ownership uh, or home defense. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you're living... It's threatening the government. The, the, the government... Yeah, but the government is more threatened by older guys who own a shit ton of guns than one 18-year-old who owns like one rifle for funsies. Uh, I think you got to protect, if you're trying to protect the militias, you got to protect the guys who have stockpiles of hundreds of guns and are ready to dole them out to their neighbors. Well, I think it's more about uh, recognizing the concept that you have no, no one has any right to make you do something or prevent you from doing something that is not, that is not harming someone else. Like you have no, the government or anybody else has no authority to stop you from doing something and like letting you just mind your own business. That's what, that is the, that is what gets lost in this like, Penny ante, like figuring, trying to maximize who should own what gun and for what reason. It is no. full stop. Nobody has the right to tell you what you to can't do. Can't have a thing. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, that's it. If you want to give your kids a bunch of guns, the, nobody has the right are to stop so it. Stupid dick. And we already have lo- like like a twelve year old can't buy a gun. You're okay with that? No. You think 12-year-olds should be able to buy a gun? Yeah, I think a 12-year-old should be able to build a nuclear reactor in the garage. (laughs) We've had this conversation. (laughs) And octopus are, like, super smart, too. They're like, uh, I hate that people eat them. They're not, like, some fucking, they're not, like, a lobster or a clam. I really don't think we should eat them. Like, have you seen how they can unscrew a lid of a jar? I'm saying, yeah. (laughs) No, my retirement grease. (laughs) 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 My retirement. Damn Scott. <laughs> ruined Scotland. Scotland. It's true. Uh, see that that was prophetic. That that quote. Mm. Damn Scots, they ruined Scots. You but Scots, like, sure are right contentious right. people. You just made an enemy for life. <laughs> <laughs> was there anyone in Scotland who got offended by groundkeeper Willie? Nope. Really? Right, there we go. They all loved it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think partly because the accent was so terrible that. You know, we, we couldn't uh-huh. really take it that seriously, to be fair. Scotty in Star Trek, uh, he was one of the best, one of the better characters. I mean, he was a love character, you know what I mean? Was he not Canadian? He was Canadian, yeah. 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 He was actually, he he was um, he was part of the D-Day invasion, and um, when he stormed the beach, he, his hand was hit by a bullet, and he lost uh, one finger, I think, on his left hand. And you never saw his left hand in in the, the series. All right. Uh, yeah, because he had a finger missing on his. Um, but he's a veteran, but he was Canadian, as was Captain Kirk. Um, yeah, William Sharp. He's, yeah. he's Sharp. Canadian. He still is. And he still is. Yeah. A <laughs> single tweet, uh, and here it is. This is about how stupid people are, um, in particular people on the left. In this case. Um, although maybe there were people on the right too. I, d- I don't know. How stupid can you be? President Biden announced, obviously we know everything with Roe uh, v. Wade last week. Today's a very solemn moment in the United States, blah, 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 blah. To which at the time it was Justice Dankula. We were careful in our decision, Mr. President. 31,000 likes. 
Uh, and from there, if we just look at the quote tweets, many even thought this guy was a real judge. Just the way it's wild how many people saw this and didn't think for a second, Supreme Court Justice Dankula? Not sure that's a real guy. Um, and, and like the, the, the amount of salt and like threats that were sent to him. You know, if, in case anyone wants an idea of how stupid the average American voter is, just look at the replies to this and the people who think he's being serious. You have like Lisa Katera, a verified person for whatever reason, uh, having a melty cat brown, another verified journalist, a journalist. You're defending the babies. What about the children and adults they become? I, I swear you could show these people the process of attaching bait to a hook, lowering it into the water, and they'd still throw themselves in for a bite. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's, there's a bit of mythology around LGBT activism as well, <laughs> to be fair. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it, it's always been with us, but is it a topic in its own right? I, I don't think it is really, is it? No, you not know? really. I mean, the, the whole thing in the 90s and the early noughties was just, you know, everybody should have equal rights, everybody should be treated the same under the law all that kind of stuff and we don't care what you do behind closed doors with consenting adults but now oh it's pederasty <laughs> all over again <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm absolutely convinced that most gay people just want to get on with things you know what i mean oh yeah yeah there are plenty of people most not, yeah, yeah they, they don't want to get involved they, they don't want this nonsense and it probably annoys them to hell you know what i mean absolutely yeah 100 percent. i mean you know uh, some of the, some of the gay people I know, they're just like, well, yeah, I just want to live in peace and you know, do do my thing mm. and get on with it and, uh, but we're not allowed to because yeah, and we're we're seen <laughs> as siding with the enemy if we call out any of this LGBT plus whatever WTF BPQ oh, LOL kind of what? activism because yeah. that's what it is. It's a political movement. A political movement that achieved its goals years ago, but doesn't know when to stop. That's basically yeah. what it is. Yeah, um, it's it's very common, isn't it? Because um, a lot of these movements, um, when they set up, they've they've got no exit date, do they? Once mm -hmm. once they've achieved their aim, once they've arrived at the the train station, they don't actually stop, do they? <laughs> No, they just they just plow into the barriers and kill all the people on the platform. That's yeah, spicy. there's no brakes on that train. You know, you know what I mean? It's like women's rights. I mean, they they've got equality under the law, but feminism still there, isn't it? They still agitate, and then they they go start making stuff up. Oh my God! So Count Dankula, I got to show you this. What Speaking of morons, done? this is the this is the greatest thing he's ever done. This is better than the dog nuts. Really? Thing. Yeah. That's a bold statement. Yeah. So he changed his um, Twitter profile to look like him as a Supreme Court justice. Because <laughs> he, rep he replied to Biden saying, we were very careful in our decision, Mr. President. Oh, my God. <laughs> and he got 3,000 people. And then he's pre been pretending to be a Supreme Court justice for the last day. And people believe people him. People are, yeah, because he's doing it in Scotland. No, dude, they're Americans. Like full on, you know, I'm going to find you and kill you. Yeah. How would you feel? Like people are outraged. He's a fucking funny guy. And taking it all and well, pretending that he's a, he's a fucking actual justice called Justice Dankula. Yeah, yeah. DMing so him. You, you think they're just, uh, yeah, I mean. They're I, fucking stupid. But I mean, a lot of them know he's not. And some people probably think he's a fucking Supreme Court justice. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what that split is. Me neither, but it's. <laughs> but they're like full on. Fuck you! I'm gonna kill you. Sure. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait till I wiki. Wait, wait till I Google search. Dude, he's you. gonna end up in jail this time. And this makes women look very dumb. And yet, yeah. Look, 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 look. Matilda, you know what? Uh, and yet you're making decisions regarding women's bodies and our lives. You don't get to choose what we do and with lives. our bodies. F lives. Apostrophe s. Uh. <laughs> I'm curious to understand why you feel like females shouldn't have the chance to choice to abortion. Dude, they're talking to him like he's like they think the fucking Supreme Court's on Twitter. China. China obviously didn't just become totalitarian overnight. It didn't just happen overnight. It started with little baby steps. And one of the first laws that China passed, the, what the excuse they gave is China is a very big place. And it's not 
you get Chinese people, but there's many different ethnicities all across China because it spans, you know, it's a very, very big country. And there was a lot of discrimination, hatred, and denigrating comments between the different ethnicities in China. So to promote... <coughs> to promote social unity under the great, great, glorious China, right, to promote, like, complete social unity, you know, all that kami gook. they passed laws that said it was now illegal for you to use, like, hate speech towards all these different ethnicities. It was to make the country one, to unite Chinese people under the same nation, under the same flag. And then after that, there was more laws. And then more laws. And then more laws. All tacked on to that same law. Oh, well, it's not just enough to not be racist. You can't actually say mean things to people. Oh, some of the mean things that you say could actually put people's life in jeopardy. Oh, God. What, a, a few Chinese politicians have been murdered now under extremely extreme circumstances, by the way. Very, very, very odd. I mean, no bodies, no pictures, no nothing. It was so strange. We now need to have laws in place to uh, protect uh, politicians so you're not allowed to criticise them, you're not allowed to say bad things about them. Oh, God. Now you're actually trying to turn people against the government, but the government gives all the people these wonderful things. By you coming against the government, you're trying to stop us from giving people wonderful things and us taking care of them. So basically, you're not harming the government. This isn't for the government. This, you're trying to harm the people, and we must protect the people by passing these laws to protect the government so they can protect the people. That's what happens. That's what happens. And you're seeing the West starting to follow suit. Right? It's just, this has happened before. This is why I don't like speech laws. You need, to, you need to come back north. We need to begin the Scottish uprising against the SNP. I, I don't know why anyone would willingly move from England to Scotland. Because rocks, Harry. And... I'd want to move there. I could just go on holiday there and see them then. But you it's can not, see them any time you want. <laughs> yeah, but I'd rather move to Anglesey. They've got better rocks. Oh, well, I don't know about that. I do. <laughs> oh, look, well, there's definitely better rocks in Wales. Put, put, I mean, put, step away from the rocks, Arian. Step away no. from the rocks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna to open. Stop doing inappropriate things to them. <laughs> I've been doing it. In, I've been doing inappropriate things to them for nearly a decade. I think I'll be all right. <laughs> oh my god! It actually has been a decade since I took it for A level. Oh. <laughs> Ha. Oh, oh, now you know how ha. it feels getting old, Harry. Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah, even I could all shit now, isn't he? <laughs>